Yo, what's good with it? It's the almighty EA Ski. Let's talk about this for a second. Have you ever thought, why is these new NPCs depreciating? Let's talk about it. All these machines that you think the old heads are tripping off of, they hold value. I had one guy that sold me an MPC-60 a while ago when I was looking for 60, because I didn't really want my 62. I wanted the metal, the actual original 60. And the only reason why he sold it is because he needed some money. He said, Ski, I would not let this go. But because I know who you are, I got to let it go. I'm in financial hardship. And he got some good money from me. You know why? Because the 60 holds value. If you go on Reverb, eBay, there's no 60 or 3,000 you're going to find that's not up there in price. So that leads me to say, okay. Well, if that's the case with the 60, 3000, SP1200, and all these vintage machines, they're up in price. Then why do these new machines keep going down in price? I mean, you got the MPC brand that's no longer here. The MPC Touch, no longer here. Studio, no longer here. The Live, okay, is here, but it's going down in price. Live 2, okay, is here. But it's going down in price. The X, yeah, is here, but now that's down in price. And now you got the SE that's up in price. But for how long? But for how long is the question I'm asking y'all? See, when you invest that type of money, $2,600 on a product, it has to have guts. It has to have an engine. These new machines, not just even the Kai, but I'm only going on the Kai because they're, like Marlo Diggs said, they're the top of the, no, there's no competition. He's 3,000% right. I wish some of y'all get in the competition. I mean, there is a Ronson, Dave, Dave Ronson got the SP1200, but that's a particular type of machine. A Kai does that. Let's give them that. Unfortunately, though, you get the clap with a boo! Boo this man! Because sonically, you're not cutting it for us. Now you might be cutting it for some of these other people, but you're not cutting it for us, man. And the real truth deal is this. A lot of y'all are going to come into some type of financial hardship. I hope you don't, and I pray that you don't. But Things happen in life. If you think for one moment you're going to really be able to get some value for selling an X and an SE and a Live, you're sadly mistaken. Because if you try to go to somebody and say, hey, man, I got this SE I'm getting rid of, man, because I'm in hardship, they're going to look at you and say, hey, man, go to your nearest 7-Eleven, stick your hand out and see how much money you can raise today. Because I don't, I don't want that. Nobody's going to want these machines. They're toys. I don't think you see it now. I know y'all happy. I know it looks cute. But the reality is, these machines are like a woman. A woman go get BBLs, lip injection, Botox, eyebrows, all of this stuff. And you're like, uh, it has no value for the future. That's why I look at it. Y'all gonna be on the next direct. The MPC XSE and what had happened was. <laughs> I mean, yeah. And even though he might do it to some of the older gear, he put respect on the name of those gears because those gears still are in demand. And there's a reason why they're in demand. For all y'all that's doing all of these comparison tests, you can do them till you blue in the face. 
The reality is, is enjoy these machines for what they are. But I promise you, there'll be a new machine in town. And it'll do something even better than the X as far as workflow. And y'all jump on that. And then you'll be waiting for the new MPC X or MPC or whatever they drop. And if it don't have sound, they're all going to go and they're going to depreciate. None of these machines hold value. None of these new machines are going to hold value until somebody come and do what they're supposed to do. And that's the reality. Shout out to Dave Ronson for the SB1200. It's incredible. I love the way it sounds. It feels good. And that's going to go up in price because he made an incredible machine. And I suggest a lot of you new makers, step up, man. Let's stop accepting mediocrity. I don't care what none of these kids are saying out there. I love y'all, but y'all got to step your game up and understand sound. And shout out to Metro Boomin for the love and the respect that he showed towards my post and what I was saying. You know what I mean? I respect you, my brother. The almighty EA. The almighty EA skis.